on the rampage again with Wilson and Bram doing good work leading to the equalizer by Henderson. <laughs> Just before half time Rangers attack down the right wing. A cross and Miller scores with a fine header. The next league match saw another four go past Motherwell, another three for McCoy's. Post drive comes down there, it's a penalty kick. McCoy's against Dykstra and he scores long one now for Hausra to chase almost a carbon copy of the penalty situation Hausra doing well against the defender it's Chris McCart who moved in there still Hausra, Ali McCoy and it's McCoy who finishes it off Hausra's corner. Oh, a marvellous goal by John Brown. It's McCall. Ferguson. Mikhailachenko, a nice back heel flick. Here's Mikhailachenko. Ali McCoy's brilliant play by Rangers. And of Wallace but it was well built up well weighted pass from Albert the pullback from Arthur Newman it was knocked back at the far post by Amato turned in by Henry and fired into the net by Rod Wallace that's 12 for the season he's up in the area Perini and Amoruso are there as well in addition to Wallace and Amato delivered by Van Bronckhorst and that's 2-1 Steve Dijkstra was a spectator there as Lorenzo Amoruso bulleted a header into the back of the net. Five minutes of the match left, lost by Dijkstra. And that may well have been an own goal off Siggy Jonsson. The contact there seemed to come off the Dundee United defender. Amoruso certainly went for it, but that may have flown off the head of Jonsson. Completely lost by Steve Dijkstra. He wasn't near it. And the credit, unfortunately, for Siggy Johnson. The Rangers oh. new skipper last night, and Barry Ferguson did his job well. He rallied the troops and scored the winning goal to boot. His strike sealed the win, but it was Kenny Miller who gave Rangers the lead. Two guys sent him through, and he raced on to finish off the job. And the home fans were back on their feet 19 minutes later, as two guys' delicate chip found Ferguson. It was an emotional night for the 22-year-old, but as we informed him, wearing the skipper's armband is something he'll get used to. It's something I've always dreamed of doing. Not at the age of 22, but it came as a surprise, but I'm honoured to do it. And it's for the rest of the season? I think so. He's not told me that, but I guess... He told us. Well, that's good then. Um, well, good play by Thompson on the counter now for Rangers. Ahead of him is Novo, who's recovered completely from that earlier knock. Turned away by Maguire, and there's seven in trouble. A chance now! The opening goal of the match from Stephen Thompson. The error by Scott Severin. Rangers have the lead. Thompson tackles strongly by Maguire, but Rickson helps him out. Good goes for Logan Crunch, he's onside. This must be the second. Oh, it goes to Foster, he leaves that to Mackey, there's a misunderstanding. Jimmy Calderwood's infuriated by that. Oh, here's Novo with a chance, was it handball? No, says the referee of the linesman. It's the third for Rangers! Short corner again preferred, Brixen plates it in. Oh, there's a delightful header there, turned off the line by K. 
Kevin McNaughton from Steve Thompson. Well, that would have been a super goal, that, but it's still with Rangers and Rickson. Third of the season. Match on oval. The goal number five. Never missed a penalty, Nacionovo. Scored many, but he certainly lost his marker. Nova's ball is just into the mix. We're at the edge of this six yard box. Just can't direct it downwards. Too much one way traffic. It's in the mix again. Boyd's there. Novo. Well. Rangers do open the scoring, 22 minutes on the clock. Rangers get the reward for the power play, keeping Motherwell on the back foot. Lee McCulloch enjoyed it. Ferguson's long throw catches the home defence napping. McCulloch gets between the defenders. The presence of Boyd does enough. And when the loose ball breaks to Nacho Novo, and he scored in the last round against these five. Now Rangers still with the most slender of leads. Touch from Novo. Here's Boyd. Well, you leave this man out at your peril because Boyd, in 53 minutes tonight, back in the side, the choice of Novo and Boyd is a strike partnership. Pays the dividend. The long ball from McGregor. Touch on McCullough. Novo just knows where his strike partner is. And Chris Boyd, the coolest head in Fir Park, strokes the ball beyond Smith. Look at the desire of Novo. And Boyd all the time giving himself the angle. Sure, the Rangers now have booked the place in the CIS Cup semi finals.